Hello, Trojan fans. Joey Swallow here live at Bo Shan Gators High School. Your Segador Trojans set to take on the Bo Shan Gators in an afternoon tilt of baseball. We're waiting on the umpires to get here. I'm going to go ahead and set the lineups for y'all while we wait. Leading off for the Trojans is Hayden Dizzitale playing second base. Ike Perry is going to be in the number two hole, plays left field. Base. Ike Perry is going to be in the number two hole, plays left field. Boy Sheck Snyder is going to bat in the three hole, plays shortstop. Preston Sloan is going to bat in the cleanup spot, and he's behind the plate. John Michael Duplashan is going to be your DH, batting fifth. Batting in the six hole is John Aaron Swallow playing first base. Batting seventh is Wade Pete playing third base. Batting eight is Parker Futch in right field. And batting ninth is Landon LeBlanc playing center field. On the mound today for the Trojans is Ashton Duos. Trojans are in their gold tops with their gray pants. And the Boshan Gators are in their white pinstripes. It's senior day here for Boshan today. Should be getting things underway in just a few minutes. Like I said, we're waiting on the umpire to come. On the hill for Boshan is going to be Colin Marks, left-hander. Where's number 21? Trojans coming off a run rule victory last night over False River. As we stand right now, Trojans are number eight in the power rankings. Unfortunately, after that win yesterday, we lost a few points because of False River's record. But today we stand to get all that back with this victory as Boshan is a, a 4A school. So the pitcher's taking his final warm-up tosses, and we're about to get on the way. Pre-game package was sponsored by Dr. Brandon Fontenot and Mercy Regional Medical Center. I'd like to thank everybody for listening on the Blue and Gold Sports Network live on YouTube. Trojans are going to spin up to the plate. Hayden Dizzitale, Ike Perry, and Boyce Sheck Snyder. All right, Dizzitale steps in. Here's the first pitch. It's in there for strike one. So we got one ball. Yeah. We got one ball, no strikes on the batter. Next pitch is in there for strike two, curveball. So quickly, does it tail down on the count, 0-2. Just getting underway here at Beauchene High School. Next pitch is inside for ball one. So we got one ball, two strikes on Desertail. Nobody out, nobody on. Trojans batting in the top half of the first inning. Very hot day out here. Wind is still. Desertail fouls it off down the third base sign. Count's gonna stay one and two. Dimensions here at Beauchene is 305 down the lines and 350 to center field. Like I said, the uh, Flag is, is limp right now as it's just very hot. No wind out here to speak of. Next pitch is hit hard towards shortstop. Shortstop backhands it, throws it over to first. And he's safe. Desertail's safe at first with an infield single. So Desertail does his job as a leadoff hitter and gets on base. So Trojan's got a base runner at first with nobody out. And stepping up is Ike Perry, number 22, senior left fielder for the Trojans. Let's go, deuces. Desertail takes his lead at first. First pitch is in there for strike one. Let's go, Ike. Let's go, man. 
<laughs> Make something happen, kid. So got no balls, one strike on Perry. Desitel takes his lead first. Pitcher throws over. He's back in safely. Next pitch is fouled back. Strike two. Hey, here we go. Make it up, kid. Make it up. Right, let's go. Base hit right here. So Ike's down in the count. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Desitel on first. Let's go win it right here, Pete. Next pitch is hit hard towards the pitcher. Pitcher bobbles. Makes the throw to first. And Perry safe as he hustles down the line so trojans got runners at first and second now with nobody out and boy sheck snyder stepping up for the plate sheck snyder wears number 13 bats from the right side playing shortstop today for the trojans so we got perry at first desert tail at second nobody out trojans threatening in the top half of the first inning Sheck Snyder takes a ball on the first pitch. Pitcher steps off. Runners get back. One ball, no strikes on Sheck Snyder. Sheck Snyder shows bunt, pulls back for a ball high. So two balls, no strikes on Sheck Snyder. <laughs> Sheck Snyder lays down the bunt to third base. Third baseman feels it, throws it over to first, but not in time. So Sheck Snyder with an excellent bunt down the third base side. Gets on first with an infield single. So Trojans got the bases loaded with nobody out. And Preston Sloan stepping up. So Trojans threatening to take the lead early in the game. Bases loaded. Number nine, Preston Sloan, the catcher. Stepping in now. Pitcher works now to stretch. First pitch is a curveball. It's up in the zone for ball one. Preston could do a lot of damage right here with nobody out and the bases loaded. Next pitch is hit high towards left field, out of play for strike one. As he tries to sneak a curveball in there, but Preston was way ahead on it. So that's going to put the count even at one. One and one on Preston. Nobody out, bases full of Trojans. Next pitch fouled straight back for strike two. So one ball, two strikes now on Preston Sloan. Bo Shane got the infield. Corners in, middles back. Looking for a ground ball right here to try to possibly turn two. Next pitch is a curveball outside. Hey, good night, good night. So put the count at two and two. Two balls, two strikes on number nine, Preston Sloan, Trojan catcher. Next pitch is swung on and missed for strike three in the first out, the top of the first inning. So that's going to bring up John Michael Duplichan up, DH today for the Trojans. Base is still loaded, one out. Pitch is still working out his stretch. Here's the pitch. It hits John on the elbow, so he's going to trot on down the first base. And we'll get all, he'll get an RBI right there. Trojans go up one nothing as Hayden Dizitel comes in. 
and that RBI and run package is provided by Nason Swallow Allstate. Go see Nason Swallow for all your insurance needs. Also, the walk package is provided by TNJ Ford. Go see Taro and Jason, Jason for all your new and pre-owned car needs. So stepping up the plate now is John Aaron Swallow batting from the right side. Takes first pitch for a strike. Are you ready, Tim? Let's go, babe. So Trojan's got the bases full. One out. John Aaron Swallow wears number 10, batting from the right side, playing first base today. Takes the next pitch down the middle for strike two. So quickly, John Aaron down in the count, 0-2. You got this, 10. Oh, you got this, 10. Next pitch is in there for strike three. So... John Aaron goes down looking for the second out of the inning. You're right, John. You're right, John. And stepping up to the plate now is Wade Pete. Where's number 15? Playing third base today for the Trojans. Base is still loaded. Trojans up one nothing. Batting in the top half of the first inning. Wade hits a screamer to left field as the Trojans are going to score at least two runs. And John Michael Dupuchan slides into third base safely as Wade Pete doubles on a screaming line drive to left field. Trojans go up 3 nothing now. Hey, we need them both, Pete. And that run package was provided by Nason Swallow Allstate. Go see Nason Swallow for all your insurance needs. Stepping up to the plate now is number 19, Parker Futch. Runners at second and third. First pitch is high for ball one. Parker Fudge is playing right field today for the Trojans. So we got runners at second and third. Two outs. Trojans up three nothing early in the game. Next pitch is down low for ball two. So Parker in a good hitter's count right here with two balls, no strikes. Next pitch down low in the dirt. So quickly, Parker ahead in the count. Three balls, no strikes right here. Let's go, Pete. See if Parker gets the green light right here. What a 3 0 count. Two outs. Runs at second and third. Pitch is right down the middle for strike one. So three balls and one strike now on Parker Futch. How you ready, kid? Let's go, baby. Trojans already put up a three spot. To the right, top of the first. Next pitch is in there for strike two. So it's going to put the count at full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. As Marks. Comes back to fill up the zone and put the count at full. Parker digs in. Pitcher steps off. All right. Parker back in the box now. Here's the pitch. Hits a ground ball to shortstop. It gets through the shortstop. And we're going to score two more runs as Wade Pete's going to come around from second. So Parker Futch delivers with a base hit up the middle. And the Trojans score two more to extend their lead to 5 nothing and still batting in top of the first inning with two outs as they go to their nine-hole hitter now, Landon LeBlanc, center fielder for the Trojans. Parker Futch takes his lead at first. First pitch swung on and missed for strike one. Next pitch is bunted down the third base side. Pitcher feels it. No throw to first as LeBlanc beats it down the line for the infield single. 
So Trojans bat around in the top half of the first inning, already put up a five spot with two outs and runners at first and second. And we back to the top of the order, Hayden Dizzitale, who started it off for the Trojans beating the infield single out his last time at bat. Runners take their leads at first and second. Pitches hit high towards the second baseman. Second baseman makes the play for the third out, but not before the Trojans put a five spot up and take the lead five nothing on the Beauchene Gators. So after a half an inning complete play, you were second on Beauchene. All right, Trojan Nation, we're back live here at Beauchene High School. Your second up, Tro Trojans up 5 nothing. Put up a five spot in the top half of the first inning. I'm going to set the defense for you now as the Gators come to bat. On the mound today for the Trojans is Ashton Duos. Where's number 14? Right-hander, sophomore. At first base, we've got a freshman, number 10, John Aaron Swallow. At second base, we've got a senior, Hayden Dizzitale, number 4. At shortstop, we got Boyce Shecksteiner, where's number 13, senior. At third base, we have a senior, number 15, Wade Pete. In right field, we got a senior, Parker Futch, where's number 19. In center field, we have a senior, Landon LeBlanc, where's number 20. And in left field, we had a senior, Ike Perry, where's number 22. And the man behind the mask and behind the plate is number nine, Preston Sloan, and he's a junior. All right, here's Ashton's first pitch. It's high for ball one. As Hunter Mesh steps in, the first baseman. Where's number seven? That's from the right side. Next pitch is high for ball two. So we've got two balls, no strikes on the batter. Next pitch is inside so quickly. Ashton with three straight balls. So we've got a 3-0 count on the batter. Next pitch is high, so four straight balls by Ashton Duos. As Hunter's going to go ahead and trot on down, I mean, sorry, Hunter Mesh is going to trot on down to first base with a walk. And that's going to bring up Jace Staley, the center fielder, where's number eight bats from the right side. Runner takes lead at first. There's the pitch. It's in there for strike one. So all we need is strikes right here as the Trojans put up a five spot in the top half of the first inning. Just looking for strikes, no walks. Next pitch is hit hard towards shortstop. Shex Niner goes to second, and Desitel goes to first. Runner at second's out. Runner at first beats it out, so one out in the inning. As the Trojans try to turn two right there. So we got one out, runner at first. And stepping up to the plate is Grant Desimo, the shortstop. Where's number four? Bats from the right side. Runner going on the pitch. Pitch is high. Throw over the seconds, not in time. So, Staley steals on the first pitch to Desimo. So, the Gators got a runner at second now with one out. 
and one ball on the battle. Alright, Duos working out his stretch, checks his run in a second. Pitches a curveball, it's gonna miss up ball two, so two balls, no strikes on Desimo. Runner is second for the Gators, one out. Trojans up five nothing. Next pitch is in there for strike one. So two balls, one strike now in Desimo. Just getting started here in the bottom half of the first inning. Your Trojans up five nothing on Bo Shane Gators. Next pitch is down low. So three balls and one strike now. Three and one count on Desimo. Gator short stop. Pitch is fisted towards short. Shexnaner bobbles it. So Desimo's gonna get on first on the error. So we got runners at first and second now with one out. And that's gonna bring up to the plate. Tristan Mitchell, number nine, plays catcher. That's from the right side. First pitch is in there for strike one. That's the key right there. Uh, Duos needs to work from ahead with a big lead. Just fill up the strike zone. Let your defense make the outs. Next pitch is a curveball outside, even up the count at one and one. Next pitch is popped up down the right side. Parker Fudge makes a dive and try for it, but it's out of play. So just a long strike. One ball, two strikes now on the batter. One out. Runners at first and second for the Gators. So Duos working from ahead right here with two strikes on the batter and one ball. Do all stairs in, gets a signal. Here's the pitch. Hits the batter, so he's going to go down the first base. And that's going to load him up for the Gators. As Duos tries to come inside on the pitch and hits the batter in the elbow. So Gators got the bases loaded now with only one out. As Coach Gary is going to walk out to the mound and talk to his pitcher and his defense, let him know what we do in case the ball's hit to him. Long first inning today. He's going to leave Duos in the game, just let the defense settle down, know where they're going with the ball in case it's hit to them. And that's going to step up to the plate. Colin Thibodeau, the third baseman, bats from the left side, wears number two. As the Trojan bullpen gets some action as Elliot Fontenot heads out there to start warming up. First pitch is in there on the outside corner for strike one. Go. 
2 all working out his windup, blows a fastball by him for strike two, so quickly ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes. On Thibodeau. Duos working out his windup now. Here's the pitch. It's inside for ball one. So one ball, two strikes on the batter. One out, bases loaded for the Gators. Trojans up 5 nothing. Bottom of the first inning. Next pitch is fouled towards the Trojan dugout. Count's going to remain the same. One ball, two strikes on the batter. Here's the pitch. It's fouled straight back and out of play, so the count's going to stay the same. Do all guess the signal from Sloan. Here's the pitch. It's a high fly ball hit out of play again. So we have a little pitcher hitter battle right here. One out. I had the chair. I keep the chair in my car now, but next pitch is fly ball hit the center field. LeBlanc gets in and need it. Throws it home. And a great throw by LeBlanc keeps the runner at third base. So <clears throat> fly ball wasn't deep enough to get the runner home from third. So that's gonna put two outs now in the inning. And the base is going to stay loaded as number 11, Salen Reshore, the DH, is stepping up. That's from the right side. So let's see if the Trojans can get out of this pickle right here. Not allowing any runs if the base is loaded. Duos working out his windup. Here's the pitch. It's high for ball one. So one ball, no strikes on the batter. Base is loaded. Trojans up five nothing. Next pitch is in there to even the count at one and one. Trojans batted around in the top half of the first inning, put up a five spot. Next pitch is hit hard towards second base. Desitel feels it, throws it over to first. So, so the third out of the inning, and Trojans survive after putting the bases loaded with only one out. And after one complete inning of play, your Secretary Children's five, the Bo Shane Gators zero. Trojan fans are back to live action here at Beauchene High School. Your second or Trojans up 5 nothing on the Beauchene Gators. Trojans going to send them to the plate. Ike Perry, Boyce Shecksnyder, and Preston Sloan. Trojans batting the top half of the second inning. Just got themselves out of a jam with the bases loaded. They keep their lead at 5-0 after one complete inning of play. Perry takes the first pitch for a strike. 
as Colin Marks is still on the hill. Lefty wears number 21. Next pitch hits Perry, so Perry's going to get a free ride. Trot on down to first base, so Trojans doing what they need to do and getting the, the leadoff hitter on first base with no out again for the second consecutive inning. And that's going to bring up Sheck Snyder, who got a, a bunt single last time up. And that walk package was provided by TNJ Ford. Go see Terrell and Jason for all your new and pre-owned car needs. First pitch, Sheck Snyder's fouled down the left side for strike one. Also forgot to mention that out at first sponsorship was sponsored by Perry's Tires and Savall Medical Center. Thank you to y'all guys for sponsoring that last inning. So Sheck Snyder digs back in. Next pitch is down low to even up the count at one and one. So we got Perry at first, Sheck Snyder at bat. Perry takes his lead. There's the pitch. It's down in the dirt again, and Perry's going to go down to second. Slides in safely on the dirt ball. So we got a 2-1 count now on Sheck Snyder. Trojans threatening again in the top half of the second inning with a runner in scoring position and nobody out. Next pitch is in there for strike two. It's going to put the count at two and two on Sheck Snyder. Trojans looking to advance this runner into third base. Next pitch just misses. Put the count at full. So we got three balls, two strikes now. Sheck Snyder, nobody out. Runner at second is Perry. Here's the pitch. It's a high fly ball hit towards second base. Second baseman gets underneath it, makes the out as Perry's going to stay at second. So one out in the inning now. And stepping up to the plate is Preston Sloan. Sloan went down swinging last time at bat. So Trojan's got a runner at second, one out. Preston Sloan at the plate. Let's go, don't leave him out there. First pitch is pull foul down the left side, third base side for strike one. Next pitch is another high fly ball hit towards right field. Right fielder gets underneath it, makes the out for the second out of the inning. So Trojans quickly two outs in the inning after getting the leadoff batter on and getting them to second base with nobody out. Or looking for a two-out hit now to score this run as John Michael Duplichan steps in the DH. First pitch is outside for ball one. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Next pitch is fouled back. It's going to even up the count at one and one. John Michael got hit last time up. Curveball's up for ball two, so two balls, one strike now on John Michael Dubashan. Two outs in the inning. Trojans up five nut and batting in the top half of the second inning. Ike Perry at second base. Trojans looking for a two out hit right here to score that runner from second. Next pitch is fouled back, so even up the count at two and two. Yeah. 
John Michael steps back in. Two balls, two strikes on him. Two outs. Perry takes his lead at second. Pitcher looks in, checks Perry at second. Here's the pitch. It's hit towards second base. Second baseman bobbles it. Still has time to throw it to first and make the out for the third out of the inning. So Trojans fail to get that runner in from second base with nobody have nothing on the Bo Shane Gators. All right, Trojan Nation, we're back live here at Beauchene High School. Joey Swallow bringing you all the live action here on the Blue and Gold Sports Network. Your second our Trojans up 5 nothing on the Beauchene Gators. They're going to send them to the plate 7, 8, and 9 as Drew Martin, the right fielder, wears number 30 lefty, steps in. Ashton Duall still on the heel for the Trojans. First pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Next pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike two. So Duos quickly ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes on the batter. Next pitch is hit towards shortstop. Shex Snyder bobbles. Can't make the throw to first, so got an error on Shex Snyder as the runner gets safe at first. And that's going to bring up Aiden Thibodeau, the second baseman. Where's number six? Bats from the right side. It's all right, boys. Turn it right here, babe. Let's go. Shake it up. So Gator's got a runner at first. Nobody out. Eight-hole hitter batting now. Shows bunt. Bunts at foul for strike one. So we got no balls, one strike on the batter. <laughs> Duals checks his runner at first, gets a signal from Sloan, throws over to first, running back in safely. Trojans looking to not have a stressful inning like they had last inning, where they had the bases loaded with one out, but then give up any runs so see if duos could throw some strikes the next pitch is in there for strike hey, two good, so quickly no balls two strikes on the batter as duos filling up the zone looking for that gr hard ground there's possible double play right here runner takes a good lead at first next pitch is fisted foul down the third base side Count's going to remain 0-2. Duos throws over the first oh. again. <laughs> Runner just back in safely. Nice move, Dewey. As he got a really big lead over there at first base. So, no balls, two strikes on the batter. Nobody okay, out. Here, Runner at first. Duos throws over again. Runner slides back in safely. Oh, 
Runner going on the pitch. Pitch is high. Runner slides in safely. So, pitch was called the ball. So, we got one ball, two strikes on the batter. Nobody out. Runner at second for the Gators. Duals checks his runner at second. Gets a signal from Sloan. Here's the pitch. It's in there for strike three, looking. So, Duals strikes out the batter for the first out of the inning. And that strikeout sponsorship was sponsored by Ace Hardware. Thank you, Cody, Louise, and Philip, for your sponsorship of the strikeout package. Go see. Cody and Louise and Phillip for all your hardware needs with two locations in Ville Platte and Rain. And stepping up to the plate now is the nine-hole hitter, Landon Hollier, the left fielder. First pitch fouled off for strike one. So Duos looking to work himself out of this pickle again with a runner at second and one out. Starting to batter off with strike one. Next pitch is a curveball. Just miss outside to even up the count at one and one. As the Trojan faithful thought it was a strike. One and one count on the batter. Duels checks his runner second. Here's a pitch. It's down low for ball two. So counts two and one on the batter, one out, running in second. Next pitch is high for ball three. Oh, so three and one on the batter now, one out. Children's up five nothing. Gators batting in the bottom half of the second inning. Next pitch is hit towards right field. And LeBlanc gets underneath it, makes the play. Throws it over as the runner tags up from second base. So it's two outs in the inning now as LeBlanc makes the catch in center field. Runner tags up from second, goes to third with two outs. So Gator's got a runner at third with two outs. And they're back to the top of their order. Hunter Mesh. First baseman, where's number seven? <laughs> so Duos working out his wind up now. What a run at third, two outs. First pitch is in there for strike one. Duos working quickly out his wind up. Here's the pitch. Curveball's a little high. It's going to even up the count at one and one. Two outs in the inning. Next pitch is hitting the center field with a base hit. And that's going to score a run from third to make the game five to one now. So a two out hit by Mesh puts the Gators on the board in the bottom half of the second inning. So stepping up to the plate now is Jace Stelly, the center fielder. Where's number eight? Mesh at first. Duos working out his stretch. First pitch down low in the dirt. Sloan blocks it, throws it over to first as the runner got off. He's back in safely. So a good block by Preston Sloan as the ball was in the dirt. So one ball, no strikes on the batter. Next pitch, foul straight back, even of the count at one and one. The Trojans looking for that third out. Try to get out of this inning with no more damage. Hitter digs back in. There's the pitch. It's 
hit foul down the third base side to put the count at one and two. So Duos way ahead in the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first for the Gators. Duos trying to work himself out this pickle here. Next pitch is a curveball. It's up high. Put the count at two and two. All twos on the scoreboard. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Trojans up 5-1. There's the pitch. It's down low for ball three. So full count on the batter now. Runner will be in motion with two outs. So runner will be still in on the pitch. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first. Duos throws over the first, running back in safely. Duos gets a signal from Sloan. Here's the payoff pitch. And it's a line drive hit to Wade Pete, and he snares it for the third out of the inning. So after... Two complete innings of play. Your second heart Trojans up five to one on the Bo Shane Gators. We got a break in action. I want to remind everyone that for your enjoyment of this free broadcast, please consider a financial contribution. The Blue and Gold Sports Network is run by volunteers, and therefore, your contributions do not pay us. Your contributions directly support our student athletes. We help to provide things like t shirts, team meals, sports equipment, field main forms, elementary sports, chartered buses, and much more. You could find our PayPal and Venmo links in the description of this YouTube event. You might have to click the word more to see the event description. No contribution is too small. Thank you in advance for your generosity. All right, Trojans coming up to bat in the top half of the third inning. They're going to send him to the plate. John Aaron Swallow, Wade Pete, and Parker Futch. First pitch to John Aaron is a strike as number 21 – Colin Marks still on the heel. Crafty left-hander. Pitching for the Gators. Next pitch is swung on and hit towards third base. Third baseman feels it, throws it over to first. First baseman digs it out the dirt for out number one. So stepping up to the plate now is number 15, Wade Pete. Wade had a base hit, stand-up double to left field last time up, driving in two runs. First pitch is outside for ball one. Next pitch is down low for ball two, so quickly Wade. Wade way ahead in the count, two balls, no strikes, one out, nobody on. Trojans batting in the top half of the third inning of 5-1 on Bo Shane Gators. Wade digs in. Ball down low in the dirt. So 3-0 count now on Wade. Probably got to take sign right here, try to get a run on base. Next pitch is right down the middle for strike one. So 3-1 count now on Wade Pete. Should still get something good to hit right here. Probably looking for something over the middle of the plate. Fastball right here. Ball down low for ball four. So Wade's going to trot on down to first base with a walk. And that walk package was provided by TNJ Ford. Thank you, Tara and Jason, for your sponsorship of the walk package. 
Sending up to the plate now is number 19, the right fielder, Parker Futch. Parker swings at the first pitch, hits a high fly ball, shortstop goes out in the left field and makes the catch for out number two. So two outs in the inning, Pete at first, and Landon LeBlanc stepping up for the Trojans center fielder. LeBlanc shows bunt, pulls back for ball one. Cut. Next pitch is fouled back to even up the count at one and one. So LeBlanc got one and one count on him. Pete at first base, two outs. Trojans up 5-1 after two complete. Trying to get that run back they gave up last inning. LeBlanc shows bun again, pulls back for ball two. So two balls, one strike now, and landing LeBlanc. Two outs in the inning. Running at first is Wade Pete. Top of the water on deck. LeBlanc showing bun again. Pulls back for ball three. So three and one count now on LeBlanc. Next pitch is hit towards third base. Third baseman feels it, throws it over to first for the third out of the inning. So Trojans failed to get a run across in the top half of the third inning. And after two and a half complete played innings, your second up Trojans up 5-1 on the Shane Gators. Back to live action here, Trojan Nation at Beauchene High School. Joey Swallow bringing you all the live action here on the Blue and Gold Sports Network. Trojans up 5-1 after two and a half complete innings. And the Gators going to send them to the plate. Desimo, Mitchell, and Thibodeau. Three, four, and five. First pitch is a high fly ball. Hit to left field. Perry gets underneath it for the first out of the inning. So one pitch, one out quickly. As Duos is still on the hill for the Trojans. Could use a quick inning right here with a lot less pitches as Duos went deep in the pitch count on most of the batters in the first two innings. And that's going to bring up Tristan Mitchell, the catcher. Next pitch is a big hopper to shortstop. Shaq Snyder feels it, throws it over to first for the second out. So two pitches, two outs quickly in the bottom of the third inning. Exactly what you'll want to see if you coach Gary as Duos is filling up the zone, getting the batters to swing the bat, and quickly we got two outs. So that's going to bring up number two, Kellen Thibodeau, third baseman, bats from the left side, takes a strike for the first pitch. So no balls, one strike, two outs. Next pitch is swung on and missed for strike two. 
So do all sway ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes on the batter, two outs, nobody on. Next pitch is a pop-up out of play. Count's going to remain 0-2. Next pitch is a big chopper right over the mound. Sheck Snyder feels it. He can't make the throw to first. So an infield hit for Thibodeau. I missed a couple of sponsorships. So the out at first package is provided by Paris Tire and Savoy Medical Center. Thank you all for that sponsorship. So Gators got runner on first with one out. And Richard stepping up to the plate, the DH, where's number 11, bats from the right side. Duos checks his runner at first as he tries to start him off with a curveball. Next pitch is a fastball up for ball two. So two balls, no strikes on the batter. The next pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. So two balls, one strike on DH, Richard. Two outs and then runner at first. Next pitch is high for ball three. So three and one now. The Trojans started off in the inning with two pitches and two outs. Now find yourself in a little bit of trouble with a runner at first and two outs. Three and one count on the batter. Next pitch is hit towards left field. Perry's going to get it and need it for the third out of the inning. So, after three complete innings of play, your Secretary Children's up 5 1 on the Bo Shane Gators. Too many games like this this year. Let's go. Right here, Ike. This inning. While we're waiting for the Trojans to come up to bat in the top half of the fourth inning, I'm going to read off the sponsors because without the sponsors, we couldn't do any of this wouldn't be possible so remember to do business locally to help these sponsors out perry's tire service kevin and becky perry total automotive ronnie and samuel lafleur seafood market and cajun crawfish tails john darbone teats food store luke deville clico all state insurance nason swallow fusilier and associates jacob fusilier attorney at law tnj ford Terra and jason savoy medical center Mercy Regional Medical Center, Fontenot Financial Services, Brandy Fontenot, Capital Planning, Josh and Amy Ortigo, and Todd and Marcus Veillon, Health Works Rehab, Andy, David, and Clay, Form Bureau Insurance, V-Dreams Ace Hardware, Evangeline Bank and Trust Company, Dr. Jake LaFleur and Mercy Regional Family Healthcare, Dr. Brandon Fontenot and Nurse Practitioner Amy Fontenot at Fontenot Healthcare. Thank you to all the sponsors. All right, Trojans back to the top of the order to start off the top of the fourth inning. They're going to send him to the plate. Hayden Dizitel, Ike Perry, and Boyce Sheck Snyder. See if we can't get that run back that we gave up in the second inning. So Mark's still on the mound. The lefty starts Dizitel off with a strike.
Next pitch is swung on and missed for strike two. So quickly, Desitel down in the count. No balls and two strikes. Next pitch is hit towards the five and six hole. Shortstop has to make a backhanded play, and Desitel runs down the line and gets safe at first for the infield single. So Desitel does what he needs to do, and the Trojans got the first batter on first with nobody out. And that's going to bring up Ike Perry, number 22. Trojan left fielder. So Ike shows bunt, fouls it off for strike one. So no balls, one strike on Perry. Running at first is Desitel. Nobody out in the inning. Trojans batting the top half of the fourth inning of 5-1 on the Beauchene Gators. Next pitch is in there for strike two. So quickly, Ike down in the count. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Lift another one right here. Next pitch is a little Texas leaguer that's going to fall in right field as Desitel gets a good read on it and trots on down to second base. So we got runners at first and second. Now for the Trojans with nobody out and Sheck Snyder stepping up to the plate. So a little CNI single right there by Perry. Got the Trojans in business with runners at first and second and nobody out. Looking to do damage here in the top half of the fourth inning. First pitch is up to Sheck Snyder for ball one. Sheck Snyder shows bunt, pulls back for ball two. So two balls, no strikes on Sheck Snyder. Runners at first and second, nobody out. Trojans threatening to do some damage here in the top half of the fourth inning. Sheck Snyder shows bunt, lays it down the third base side. It's a beauty as the pitcher feels it, throws it over the first for the first side of the inning. But more importantly, Sheck Snyder delivers on the sacrifice, getting his runners to second and third. So Trojans got runners in scoring position now at second and third base with one out and Preston Sloan stepping up to the plate. Hey, good job right there, kid. Lay down, baby. So Preston Sloan digs in now as the pitcher works out and the pass ball by the catcher. And that's gonna bring home Desitel from third. And Perry's gonna trot on down to third base from second. So Trojans extend their lead to six to one now. Still batting with only one out and a runner in scoring position at third base. Mark's working out his windup now as Sloan steps back in with one ball, no strikes on him. Next pitch is back against the backstop again. Perry's gonna try to come home and he's gonna get tagged out at home for the second out of the inning. As uh, unfortunately, the ball bounced right back to the catcher as it didn't touch anything but straight to the wall. So nobody on, two outs now. Two balls on Preston Sloan. The next pitch is in there for strike one. So two balls, one strike now on Preston Sloan. Two outs and in, and nobody on. Children's up 6 1. Next pitch is a base hit, hit into right center field. So Preston keeps the inning going with a base hit to right center field. And Aaron Cormier is going to go in and courtesy run for Preston at first base. Where's number 24? I, wanna, I missed the run package, so 
The running RBI package was provided by Nason Swallow Allstate. Thank you, Nason, for your sponsorship of that running RBI package. So the Trojans up 6-1 to one now, still batting in the top half for the fourth inning. Runner going on the pitch as Cormier is going to steal second, slides in safely. What color you said? So Trojans got another runner in scoring position with two outs. John Michael Duplishan batting. Looking for a two-out hit right here. Takes a ball on the first pitch. So one ball, no strikes on Duplishan. Next pitch is on the outside corner to even up the count at one and one. Next pitch is just outside. It's going to put the count at two and one now in Duplishan. Two outs in the inning. Pickoff attempt at second base. Cormier back in safely. Duplishan digs back in. Here's the pitch. It's just outside for ball three. So three and one count now on Duplishan. Two outs running at second. Scoring position is Aaron Cormier running for Preston Sloan. John should get something good to hit right here with a three and one count. Pitch is down in the dirt. So Duplishan is going to get a free ride to first base. And. Stepping up to the plate now is John Aaron Swallow, the DH. So got Trojans at first and second now with two outs. Correction, John Aaron is playing first base today. It's John Michael, it was the DH. First pitch is fouled back for strike one. Pitch is hit sharply back to the pitcher. He's going to tag first base for the third out of the inning. So Trojans managed to pick up one run in the top half of the fourth inning and now extend their lead to 6-1 to one over the Beauchene Gators. We'll be right back for live action here on the Blue and Gold Sports Network. All right, we're back, Trojan fans, as Preston Sloan slings it down to second base. Ashton Duall still on the heel for the Trojans as the Gators are going to send up 7, 8, and 9. Drew Martin steps in the right fielder. First pitch is just inside for ball one. Next pitch is a fly ball hit the center field. Desitel goes back and catches it in shallow center field for the first out of the inning. So two pitches, one out as Duos 
filling up the strike zone looking for a quick inning right here to conserve his energy as the batter is going to go stand up in second base with a, a double one out so coach gary looking for Looking to see what's going on as uh, some controversy on the, the hit, whether it was fair or foul. But regardless, the batter standing at second base with one out. And the nine-hole hitter, Landon Hollier, the left fielder, steps in. First pitch is outside for ball one. Next pitch is hit foul down the third base side, it, even up the count at one and one. One out in the inning. Gators batting in the bottom half of the fourth inning down 6-1 to the Trojans. They have a run at second in scoring position. Nine-hole hitter batting now. Curveballs hit towards shortstop. Sheck Snyder backhands it, throws it across the diamond for the second out of the inning. So a good play by Sheck Snyder as he has to go in the five and six hole and backhand it, throw it all the way across the diamond, gets the runner for two, the second out of the inning. So two outs in the inning as the runner advanced from second to third. So we got a runner at third now, back to the top of the order for the game. Hunter Mesh steps in the first baseman. First pitch is a curveball swung on and missed for strike one. Duos working out his windup now with a runner at third. Two outs. Next pitch is a curveball in the dirt. Swung on and missed. So quickly, Duos way ahead. No balls and two strikes on the batter. Two outs. Duos working quickly out his windup. Here's the pitch. And it's a fly ball hit to right field as Parker Fudge gets underneath it for the third out of the inning. So Trojans managed to hold them in the bottom of the fourth inning. And after four complete innings of play, your second hard Trojans up 6-1 to one on the Beauchene Gators. Trojan fans back to live action here at Beauchene High School. Your second up Trojans up six to one on the Beauchene Gators. Trojans gonna send them to the plate seven, eight, and nine. Wade Pete, Parker Futch, and Landon LeBlanc. Colin Mark still on the hill for the Gators. First pitch is outside for ball one. Mm -hmm. 
Next pitch is in there to even up the count at one and one. Trojans looking for some insurance right here. Try to extend their lead. Keep the pressure on the Gators. Next pitch is a curveball in the dirt. So two balls, one strike now on Wade Pete Trojan, third baseman. Next pitch is taken for strike two, so two and two on the batter now. Wade Pete. Next pitch is hit towards center field. Center fielder gets underneath it, makes the catch for out number one. So got one out in the inning now. Parker Fudge stepping up to the plate. First pitch is outside for ball one. Where's it at? Next pitch is hit hard to his third base. Third baseman feels it, throws it over to first for the second out of the inning. So unlucky as Fudge hits a screamer to third base, but right at him. So two outs in the inning now, and Landon LeBlanc stepping up for the Trojans. Bang one right here, 2 -oh. First pitch is in there for strike one. Next pitch is a little dribbler hit towards second. Second baseman feels it, throws it over to first for the third out of the inning. So Trojans go up one, two, go down one, two, three in the top half of the fifth inning. But so after four and a half complete innings of play, your second hour Trojans six, Bo Shane Gators one. All right, Trojan fans, we're back to live action here at Beauchene High School. Your second order Trojans up 6-1 to one on the Beauchene Gators as Preston Sloan slings it down to second base. Ash and Duol still on the heel working for the Trojans. Gators are going to send up 2, 3, and 4. Jace Staley, the center fielder, steps in, takes ball one. Next pitch is hit, high fly ball in the gap. And LeBlanc makes a running catch for out number one. As the ball was hitting right center field, and LeBlanc got on his horse and ran it down for out number one. So two pitches, one out as Duos working sharply, throwing the ball over the plate, letting his defense make outs out there. Exactly what he needs to do with a five-run lead. And stepping up now is the three-hole hitter, Grant. Oh. 
Desimo, the shortstop, takes the first pitch for a ball as Dulos tries to start some off with a curveball. Next pitch is in there for strike one. Oh, excuse me. I don't know where that one was, but apparently the umpire didn't like it. So two balls, no strikes on Desimo. Next pitch looks like the same pitch for strike one. So two balls, one strike now. One out in the inning. Gators batting in the bottom of the fifth. Next pitch is hit foul down the third base side. Curveball's in the dirt. It's going to put the count at full. There's the pitch. A swung on and missed with strike three. And Duos gets himself a strikeout right here for the second out of the inning, and that strikeout sponsorship was provided by ace hardware thank you cody louise and phil philip for your sponsorship of the strikeout package go see them for all your hardware needs so two outs in the inning and that's going to step up tristan mitchell the catcher hits a base hit on the first pitch to right field excuse me parker futch Parker Futch feels it coming up fast and throws them out at first base for the third out of the inning. So, excuse me, Parker Futch, as he makes a play out there in right field and guns them at first base. So, after five complete innings of play, your second heart Trojans six, the Bo Shane Gators one. Trojan fans, we're back here for live action here at Boshan High School. Your second of Trojans up 6-1 to one on the Boshan Gators. 
back to the top of the order as the Trojans are going to send up Hayden Dizzetail, Ike Perry, and Boyce Shecksnyder. Batting in the top half of the sixth inning, up six to one. Looking for more runs right here for insurance. Mark still on the mound, left-hander, Colin Mark still pitching for the Gators as the first pitch is fouled back for strike one. Next pitch is hit towards third base. Third baseman can't field it as Desitale is going to beat it out and get to first. So Desitale with an infield single on a hard hit ball to third base. Too hot to handle as he has to go to his backhand by the bag. So Trojan's got something cooking right here with runner at first and nobody out. And Ike Perry stepping in to the plate. First pitch is swung on and hit to right field. Right fielder makes the catch for the first out of the inning. There's another little Texas leader right field. So Desert is going to have to stay at first with one out. And coming up to the plate now is Boy Sheck Snyder. Desertail picked off at first as the he was going on the pitch and the pitcher caught him sneaking and picked him off for the second out of the inning. So just like that, it's two outs in the inning now and Sheck Snyder stepping back in. First pitch is in there for strike one. Sheck Snyder drills one to left field. Left fielder makes a running grab for the third out of the inning. So Trojans come up dry in the top half of the sixth inning. And after five and a half complete innings of play, your second order Trojans six, Bo Shane Gators one. All right, Trojan Nation, we're back live here at Beauchene High School. Your second row Trojans up to 6-1 to one on the Beauchene Gators as Preston Sloan shoots it down to second base. Ashton Duall still on the heel for the Trojans. Pitching a gym of their six, up 6-1. Six to one. First pitch is in there for a strike on the outside part of the plate. Gators are going to send up. Thibodeau, Richard, and Martin. Next pitch is high to even up the count at one and one. Next pitch is swung on and miss. Put the count at one and two. Mm -hmm. 
pitches down low. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Nobody on, nobody out. Gators batting in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Next pitch is hit out of play. Count's going to stay the same. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. So Duos, after a rocky first inning, has settled down and is pitching a, a gem out there as he records a strikeout for the first out of the inning. And that strikeout package was sponsored by Ace Hardware. Go see Cody Louise and Phillip for all your hardware needs. And stepping up to the plate now is Reshore to DH. First pitch is a curveball in there for strike one. Next pitch misses with the curveball on the outside part of the plate. That's going to even up the count at one and one. Big hopper hit up the middle as Sheck Snyder can't come up with the grounder. And Richard gets safe at first with one out. So Gator's got to run at first. And that's going to bring up Martin, the right fielder. Duos works from the stretch now with a runner at first. One out. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed with strike one. So Duos hitting the spots on the outside part of the plate. Getting them to swing and miss. Trojans need five more outs to complete this game. Next pitch is swung on, miss on the changeup. Again, on the outside part of the plate. So quickly, do also head in the count. No balls, two strikes. Running at first, one out. The high fly ball out of play. Count's going to remain 0-2. Pitch goes outside for ball one. So one ball, two strikes on the batter. And do also is trying to get him to swing at something outside the zone right there, which was what you're supposed to do with an 0-2 count. Here's the next pitch. It's popped out of play. Pete looking for it down the third base side. He gets out of play, though. So count's going to stay the same. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner at first for the Gators. Trojans up 6-1. Pitch is outside. It's going to put the count at 2-2. Two and two. Next pitch is high. That's going to put the count in full. Three balls, two strikes. One out. Running at first for the Gators. Popped out of play again. So we're going to. Keep the count at full. Next pitch is fouled straight back. 
So Drew Martin, the right fielder, competing right here. Battling it out at the plate with Duos. Counts going to remain 3-2, one out and running at first. See if Duos can make a pitch right here. Another foul ball. So both batter and pitcher doing their job right here and spoiling some good pitches by Duos. Here's the pitch. It's a curveball. It's hit towards first base. John Aaron Swallow snares it and tags his bad for out number two. So two outs in the inning now with a runner at second base. And that's going to send up Thibodeau, the second baseman. So runner at second with two outs. Curveball's in there for strike one. So Duel's getting ahead in the count. No balls, one strike. Two outs, running at second. Next pitch is up. For, uh, hits the batter on the curveball. So got to nick him on his jersey, and he's going to try to on down to first base. So. You got two outs now, runners at first and second. And the nine hole hitter, Landon Hollier, the left fielder, steps in. Trojans looking for one more out in this inning. Duol starts him off with a fastball. He fouls it down the right side out of play for strike one. Runner going on the pitch. Sheck Snyder grabs it and steps on his bag at second base. But a third out of the inning. So after six and a half complete innings of play, your secondary Trojans up six to one on the Bo Shane Gators. All right, we're back live. Trojan Nation. Trojans batting in the top of the seventh inning, up 6-1 to one on the Bo Shane Gators. They're going to send up to the plate. Preston Sloan, John Michael Dubashan, and John Aaron Swallow, 4-5-6. and six. Mark still on the mound, the lefty for the Gators. First pitch is a little dribble. It hit the third base. Third baseman feels it. Throws it over to first for the first out of the inning. So a little check swing by a Preston. Hits a little dribble at the third base. Third baseman throws it over to first for the first side of the inning. 
as Coach Gary is going to walk over and challenge the call. <laughs> All right, John Michael Duplashan stepping up to the plate now for the Trojans. One out in the inning. Trojans batting on top of the seventh, up 6 1. Come on, John. Let's go, babe. Marks the left hander for the Gators has went all the way. One. Next pitch is in the dirt for ball two. Next pitch is down low for ball three. Three balls, no strikes now. And <laughs> Next pitch is called the strike on the curveball. So three and one count on John Michael Swallow. John Michael Duplassan, excuse me. Next pitch is swung on and miss. He's going to put the count at full. Three balls, two strikes, one out. I hate when they take that away from the kid, man. No, that's not, wasn't even close. Next pitch is fouled off. So John hangs in there. He's going to keep the count at 3-2. And he ain't called a little pitch all day. 3-2 count on John Michael Dubashan. Pitch is hit hard towards second base. Second baseman snares it, throws it over to first for the second out of the inning. So unlucky as John Michael hits one hard, but right at the second baseman. So we got two outs in the inning now. And stepping up to the plate is John Aaron Swallow, first baseman. First pitch is in there for strike one, fastball. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I don't think so. John Aaron is back himself. Next pitch is in the dirt. So going to put the count at one and one. Curveball's in there for strike two, so one ball, two strikes, two outs. Swung on and missed for strike three, so... Trojans go right, down right, one, two, right, three in the top Let's half go, of the seventh inning. Get back out there. So after six and a half complete innings of play, your second row Trojans up six to one on the Bo Shane Gators. This is the bottom of six, right? That we going into right seven. Here? Bottom of seven. Bottom of seven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they didn't put it up, but we got a zero up there on seven.
All right, Trojan fans, we're back to live action here on the Blue and Gold Sports Network. Joey Swallow bringing you all the live action as your second hard Trojans up 6-1 to on the Beauchene Gators, and Gators are coming up to bat in the bottom of the seventh inning. Trojans just looking for three outs. Got a pitching change as Wade Pete is on the hill now for the Trojans. Senior right-hander. First pitch is in there for strike one as... Ashton Duolson go over to third base. Next pitch is curveball in the dirt. So the Gators are sending up one, two, and three. Mesh, Stelly, and Desimo. So we got a one and one count on the batter. Next pitch is fouled out of play. So I'm put the count at one and two. Pete way ahead in the count, working out his wind up. Next pitch swung on and missed in the dirt. Preston blocks it, throws it over the first for the first out of the inning. So that strikeout package was provided by Ace Hardware. Thank you, Cody, Phillip, and Louise for your sponsorship of the strikeout package. So, Ashton Duos pitched a gym today. Six complete innings of work. Only one run allowed. Wade Pete in to clean it up for him in the bottom of the seventh inning. One out. First ball is spiked in the dirt for ball one. Jay Stelly, the center fielder up to bat. Next pitch is in there. Even up the count at one and one. Trojans just looking for two more outs to complete this victory. Next pitch is hit high to center field. Landon LeBlanc camps underneath it, makes the second out of the inning. So quickly, the Trojans got two outs, looking for one more to seal this victory and get some big power points today. If they could seal this victory and beat uh, a 4A school in Beauchene, their district champions of their district. First pitch is in there for strike one on Desimo. So Pete working quickly out his windup, not wasting any time. Next pitch is a curveball for strike two. So way ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes. Gators down to their last strike. And there it is as Pete strikes him out looking for the third out and the end of the game as your second heart Trojans get the victory here at Beauchene High School, 6-1. to one. Trojans impressive on the day, scoring five runs in the first inning to basically get a big lead and maintain it as good pitching from Ashton Duos and Wade Pete cleaning it up for him in the last inning. With this victory, Trojans should move up in the power rankings as they were at eight to start this game. But beating a 4A school should get them about 40-something power points to help them move back down maybe into the sixth position. They have a big game tomorrow at Catholic Point Capi, a district game, which last year Catholic Point Capi beat us. So we got payback for them. Uh, If you can make it out to... New roads tomorrow, I encourage you to be out there. I'm not going to be there, so there's no broadcast as I know of tomorrow. So in order to see it, you're going to have to go out there to New Roads, and the boys would love all the support from from all the fans. So Joey Swallow signing out here at Beauchene High School. Your second heart Trojans just defeated the Beauchene Gators 6-1. to one. Thank you for listening to action on the Blue and Gold Sports Network.